Today I thought we can make a tier list of the AI image generators that I use the most. So we're gonna check out Mid Journey, Adobe Firefly, Stable Diffusion, Dolly, and we're gonna use the same prompts for every single generator. So let's just dive in. Let's take a look at the prompts I've been using in this test. We have one advanced prompt and we have one simple one. We also have a short version of the advanced one because uh, it doesn't fit into Dolly and Bing Create. Every single AI art generator is gonna be fed the same prompt and I'm gonna use that to evaluate and place it on my tier list. This is the tier list. So here you can see we have six different types of AI art generators or image generators that I use the most. I have not been testing a lot on Firefly and Bing Image Creator, the other ones I have been using extensively. Which one should we start with? I'm just gonna go with, let's do Mid Journey V4 first. I'm gonna select V4 here, so we got version 4, and I'm just gonna run the prompts, and let's take a look at the results. Here is the Viking Roar first, and we have the Bunny. Okay, so this is good. I immediately noticed a big difference from uh, Mid Journey V5, of course. Overall, it's quite good. The Bunny side, that's, I like that a lot. That's quite cool, that's very accurate. There's some distortion or something down here in the right. I think I like the bottom or top right one best. So where should I place this now on the tier list? So this is mid journey v4. I think I'm gonna start placing it on B or C. I'm gonna start on C. But let's move on to, I think we're gonna do stable diffusion. Here on Stable Diffusion, we are gonna use dreamstudio.ai, that's the official one from Stability AI. The model I'm gonna pick is the SDX all in that is in beta now, so we're gonna try that. Uh, I'm gonna use the short version of the prompt here, because the big one didn't quite fit the window. I know a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on negative prompts. Uh, we are just gonna put in blurry and hands, I'm not gonna put too much emphasis on that. Uh, I want to push up the prompt strength maybe to, let's do 7, and I'm going to do 70 steps. I think that's about average. Uh, it's going to be a square image this time, and we're going to do 4 one. So let's just run this. Also, the style is on enhanced. Oh yes, this is looking good. Much better than the other versions I have been using of this stable diffusion. First, let's take a look at this. I really like this. I think it's... The eyes are maybe a bit strange, that's the only thing I can put my finger on. It looks quite good. Remember that it's only 512 by 512. Again, everything, it's just the eyes and the teeth. And look, the bunnies. I like this, I think I like this style better than Mid Journey V4. Overall, very good with this. So where am I gonna place this? I'm definitely gonna place it above Mid Journey V4. So let's start with B tier. Now I want to go to Dolly. This is just awful. Uh, no way, this was... It's quite gross, gross actually. They're deformated, look at this. That's horrifying. I knew this would be bad. Oh, that's quite scary. Yeah, this is not good. Not compared to the other ones. This is better, I kind of like the style here. Uh, there's not... It's an easier thing to do, right? But not looking so good for Dolly to here. That's an easy D, right? Let's move on to Bing. Let's do Bing Image Creator. Okay, big difference here. This is definitely an improvement over Dolly 2, right? The sharpness is very good. The details are kind of insane, to be honest. I like the blurry background. The teeth is the only thing in this image that kind of puts me a bit off. Look at the details in the face here. This is very promising. So let's take a look at the bunnies. Yeah, much better. These were super cute, right? Yeah, this one's good. Okay, so this is definitely better. Being image creator. Oh, is it overstable diffusion? I think I gotta put it here. I know a lot of people are much better at using stable diffusion than me, but uh, that's just straight out of the box here uh, without any too much negative prompting and playing around with the settings, right? Let's move on to Mid Journey V5. And as expected, this looks just brilliant, right? So you can take a look here. Let's take a look at the Vikings here first. Look at those eyes. Look at the quality here. It's just amazing. And the details around the eyes here, like the hairs and stuff. It's just amazing. It stuns me every single time how good this looks. 
like the the focus the blurry background it's incredible and the bunny here this is more what kind of style you like i think all engines could pull this off quite good but is it my favorite I i'm not sure it's just straight on s tier there's nothing much else to say final engine adobe firefly so I actually went for the short version of the prompt uh, and let's take a look here. This is interesting. Uh, again, I guess the teeth are a bit off, right? Other than that, the details look good. Yeah, I kind of like this. I think this is promising. Ooh, this was a good one. I kind of miss the, the Viking. I guess we have some tattoos here. Mm, maybe it's a bit off. Does this scream Viking warrior? Mm, I guess this one maybe does. So, very promising from Firefly, I think. Uh, let's do the bunny prompt and then we are gonna rate it. Okay, here we go. I gotta say, I think this is my favorite one so far. Ooh, I like this style. This gotta be my favorite. This was a bit creepy, but look at this. I'm caught. To be honest, I have been playing around with Firefly a bit and I'm quite impressed. Let me just show you here. We have this menu here on the right. So if we just click on digital art now and generate, it's gonna change it up a bit. So you can see it kind of changed now and we can go, let's go pixel art. And there you see we have the bunny in pixels. It's gonna be very easy for users to, to play around with. And if you want me to do a full video on Firefly, just let me know in the comments. Where are we going to put Firefly? Ooh. I think I'm going to place it in A. Uh, it might be a bit controversial to place it at Bow Stable Diffusion. I know I could have done a lot more with that. But uh, I just took it as out of the box. Uh, I kind of want to place it in the middle here, but I'm just going to go with A now. And maybe that's going to be shifted later. Uh, you could also make an argument for placing Midjourney V4 at B. I think I actually might do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think it holds up still. Right? Yeah. What would you do different here? Would you play Stable Diffusion higher? Maybe you have more experience with it than me. But uh, let me know in the comments and yeah. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.